Hey, what's going on guys? Sudith here again for another part of the Dark Souls 3 Let's Play slash tutorial. As you see, I've changed my armor up. So I'm not wearing the black iron armor anymore because with the crown we had the misfortune of getting. It just looks... I don't know, something about her head and neck. They look off. So we're going back to the Lothric armor just for now. Until hopefully we get another hat or armor. But we're out here to help with the end or one of the end parts of Cirrus of the Sunless Realm's storyline. She should have a summon sign on this bridge if we've done all the previous steps correctly. Yep, and there it is. So the key to this fight, guys, is you're going to be summoned into Cirrus's world as a phantom, and she's going to be fighting the Dark Souls 2 NPC, Creighton. Now, Creighton does a lot of damage, and if Cirrus dies, that's it. And we really want the ring from this. So if he starts killing Cirrus, just like body block her and die instead. And then just try it again. Because you really don't want her to die here. So let's see if we can uh, murder Creighton. I'm going to have to change our shield though. I'd like to be able to parry against Creighton. He's an R1 spammer. So we got to do that relatively quick. The shield is fine. Okay. There he is, the Trog. See how he tried to weapon art poise tank you at the start? Oh man. This guy escapes backstabs, huh? You don't escape two in a row, bum boy. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, no parries or anything super cool, but I did send him to the moon, so that's nice. Thank you for your kind assistance. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. All right, I'm gonna let her talk. Um, I've been quiet for the little, for the past uh, little while, just letting her do her dialogue because we really wanted this ring. Hmm. I have not thanked you for your generous rescue. That dark spirit was one of Rosaria's fingers, vile bastard offspring who lurk in the darkness. My sworn enemies, fearsome invaders to say the least. I would not have made it alone. You have my deepest gratitude. If you require help on your travels, I offer you my sign. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Now, Cirrus should be summonable after her next step in her storyline um, for the Dragon Slayer armor. So you know what, guys? Let's just go ahead and do that. Yeah, why, why not? Uh, why wait? I don't think you have to. So now if you go back to where the tree boss fight is, where the front door to the tree is that opens up to the rest of the settlement with the ravine, her sign will be there and you can help her kill her grandpa, Hodrick, who we bullied earlier. So we're going to see if we can help her bully Hodrick again. And in order to see her summon sign for these events, you will have to be uh, embered, by the way, guys. Where's the wooden hammer one? Where is the one of you with the wooden hammer? There he is. You hear me calling. I want your wooden hammer, please. You know, between episodes sometime tonight, guys, I may farm one of those wooden hammers. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> awesome. All right, now if we head up here... I believe her summon sign will already be here. I don't think there's an extra step. If there is, I'll look it up between episodes. But she should be calling for our help. 
Somewhere here, I believed. Hmm. I don't see it. We'll save and quit one time, and then if not, we'll we'll check the bonfire at the bottom. It may be at the bonfire at the bottom. What am I doing? Oh, I'm saving and quitting. Sorry, guys. I got so confused by not knowing why she uh, wasn't there. I'll actually try to look that up right now while I'm loading in. Hmm, okay, after we defeat Aldrich, uh, we can uh, do this area. So I was I was close with my timing. We're only two bosses off from that, but not quite yet, guys. So we're, gonna, we're just going to go back to Irithyll, run our way to the dungeon. Um, I'm going to leave the, the main body of Irithyll until after Irithyll dungeon. I prefer to come down to the dungeon first and uh, get my slab from Sigward, do his storyline... And um, also rescue Carla. So we're going to go to the dungeon before we go up to the rest of Irithyll. Now, I don't like Irithyll Dungeon. I just like the things in Irithyll Dungeon. The Profaned Capital is a lot better than the Irithyll Dungeon, but... You know, some areas just aren't the best. And that happens to be one of them. Oh, we'll get to fight Alva the Spurn, though, so that should be fun. I think my record versus NPC invaders is perfect so far. That's pretty good. I mean, granted, they're only computers. They're all pretty easy to beat up. But sometimes those guys can catch you off guard. There are some items in this room up on top. I don't really deem any of them worth my time. But you can check those out if you want. These two guys on the stairs. <laughs> I will show you where to get a miracle. And there's also... A poison gem. Right over there. I might as well grab that to make sure I'm right. Just in case you wanted to make your weapon poison and you didn't have one. I think this is one. No, it's a ring of sacrifice. Well, I believe there's a gem somewhere around here. I'll check later and maybe show you guys in another episode. I like to show the gem locations. Because if you're looking to infuse your weapon, that's like a big part of your build, so... I'm going to show you guys how to get a, a miracle that some people miss over here. Now, if you didn't kill the Sullivan Beast on the bridge, you won't be able to do Cirrus. And when you come down here, it will jump off the bridge and chase you around. So you might as well just get it uh, handled up on top. There's Great Heal from a worm. Not really sure who that worm is meant to be. Because uh, if you re reallocate your points more than five times out of Rosaria, the idea is like you turn into a worm. Like Hazel turns into a worm, Kirk turns into a worm. That's their logic for only letting you change your build five times a playthrough. I know that's totally arbitrary because you can just make a save state. But that's fine. We're going to light this bonfire. There's no point in resting at it. We have 10 Estus. Let's just head down to the dungeon. I'm going to beat up these guys. I know there's a Pontiff Knight. Yeah, there you are, buddy. Ooh, that attack is so cool. It's kind of nonsense, but it's cool at the same time. Oh, I forgot. It's two of the two hands, three of the one-handed attacks. Do remember now though. And you're a fool. I want your helmet though. Actually, nah, I kinda don't like it. Whoa. I do not know this guy's moveset. I did know that that was the same attack again, but um, I was too stupid to roll. Okay. Oh, Fire Witch armor. Guys, we got new armor. Oh, wow, that's kind of nice. I immediately changed my opinion on the crown, guys. I think this looks pretty good now. That's cool. Our fuzzy gloves still don't fit the outfit. 
I don't like how my scabbard goes through that dangly hood, though. That's okay. Alva, you got something to say or what? Ah, oh, we lost the battle of the weapon arts there. God, you're so rude, Alva. You gonna shoot? I knew it, you're such a coward. <laughs> when in doubt, guys, just R1 spam. I'm really surprised that... I mean, this parry is kind of weird in its frames, but... I'm surprised that I didn't land that one on his little spin-to-win move. Alright, Irithyll Dungeon. I won't be making you guys suffer through every nook and cranny of Irithyll Dungeon. I'm going to show you how to get through here without putting up with these annoying people. Don't grab that, you'll get shoved. You're just gonna run around these guys. You can totally fight all these jailers, but their weapon sucks. Their helmet's kind of funny though. Head in here, grab these pine resins though. Then murder this disgusting baby man. Um, just because it looks like it's suffering really, no other reason. Also going to put on the silver cat ring. Then you can open up this door here. That's a shortcut to back. That's the side you started. That's where the guy tried to shove you. We're just going to drop. This lizard's going to be a trap for a disgusting baby man, but I don't really care. We're just going to run straight for the lizards. Then we'll go back and kill that thing. All right, disgusting baby man. What, you, what is wrong with you? Ooh, nothing in its room? Let's kill another one. Why not? Shut up. Alright. We're going to be encountering a Mimic here in a moment. That's where the next bonfire is. Right in that room. And that's where the boss fight is. Let me change my HUD back to auto, guys. I know I had it set to on that whole last episode. But that's because I forgot after the dancer. But look at that. It's kind of nice. Let's kill these three guys. I don't remember where the third one comes from, but I know there's three here. Yep. Cool. Do we have any uh, undead hunter charms? Do we have to murder this mimic? Yep. Mimics must die. I believe it's an Estus shard as well. Oh, I was out of stamina, guys. So you want to mash out of this one with your triggers. Otherwise, that mimic will just continue eating you until you die. <laughs> ah, there's an Estus shard. We're going to have to fight another mimic here in just a moment, too. It's really mimic city down here. This room is horrible. Ooh, two wooden mallets, though, that I see. I'm going to fight this room. I want one of those wooden hammers. Oh god, don't be your armor. Wooden hammer. Oh, dung pie. Dung pie again. Man, those hammers hit extra hard when they're hitting you while you roll. Oh, I, I did not pay attention to how many Estus we had, guys. That's fine. There's nothing left. Okay, then we'll just have to play safer than that. It's not a big deal. Grab this shard. Oh, wait, soul? Shard down here? What is that? Pickaxe. Okay, well, never mind, guys. There's a giant here as well. Get off me, rat. All right, from this hole, there's gonna be more rats. Oh no. 
Guys, we might lose all our souls. That's fine. Sometimes you lose them. But you want to come up here and grab the item from this right end, uh, this right chest. The other one is a Mimic. And the Mimic has like a decent item, but right now I do not feel safe on the amount of Estus I have. So I'm going to go back. Run back to this bonfire. And at least then you'll get to see the path twice. Once before it's opened and once once it's open, or after it's opened. So let's let's head back through. See, so Irithil Dungeon isn't that bad, guys. You just do that one run, and then look how quick it is to get back through here. This time, uh... Oh, I didn't think about the baby man. This time we may kill that second mimic. Yeah, because I'll probably forget to if we don't. So we'll, we'll kill that second mimic. Sorry guys, I'm just running through these. I don't feel like fighting all these. We'll, I'll explore this lower down part later, don't worry, and I'll, I'll show you where to get some stuff for that. But right now I'm just prioritizing the really important items. And then once you get through with your important items, you can always go back and get the unnecessary ones. Oh, I thought there was, I thought I didn't kill that rat right there. I thought he was still alive. Now, will the basilisks already spawn now that that treasure chest is open? A question I've never answered before. They will. Okay. Well, then let's take care of those basilisks first. We don't want to be, we don't want to be cursed. Like, we really don't want to be cursed. Oh, no. Ooh. Run away for a moment, guys. Don't let your curse meter build up like that. Alright, then we'll go back up this way. Oh, I actually haven't taken any hits from these guys. Awesome. Mm, we'll take. We we should kill that last one before we start this mimic fight. Cause I don't I don't trust him. All right. Now we'll kill this mimic. We'll get past these two giant rats in the next room. We'll get to the bonfire at the profane capital, and then I will show you guys where to go to get the rest of the stuff down here. We're gonna buff up mimics. I got grabbed last time, so, you know, we're just gonna... Oh, I forgot this was the unique quadrupedal one. <laughs> what a freaky guy. He almost spooked me when he did that back bend. There's your dark clutch ring. You know, not completely useless. Um, there's not actually that many enemies that hit with dark. A lot of the time that it looks like dark, it's actually magic damage, like with Pontiff. Pontiff is actually fire and magic. I believe the Dancer actually does uh, dark damage, though. And Gale, of course, has some dark damage in his uh, kit. Okay, cool. Two Traveler Souls for that. Now there's um, Embers... Uh, or ashes, I mean, a coal, and an NPC in this room, but we need the keys for him, so we're just going to pass this room by the first time. Because we're going to have to get that key down there. Don't bother grabbing that item, it's not important. Now a gargoyle is going to jump down, I recommend you go left, not right. Oh, nice attack. Remember, I have the cat ring on, so I can just run off. You guys, be sure you have one as well. And we'll go back through and kill that gargoyle, too. Just going to grab this bonfire.
And we'll get an emote here, laying on the ground. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this part. That was Irithyll Dungeon. And uh, now we're in the profane capital. We will go back through Irithyll Dungeon, collect a bunch of items, and I'll show you guys how to get to the dragon area as well. But uh, for now, that's going to be it for me.